Greetings, in this video I'm going to show you how to possibly repair a Microsoft Surface tablet that's not charging any longer or it just won't power on any longer. This particular uh, tablet just completely shut down while using it. I want to show you how to troubleshoot to repair the power cord or fix it to where it will power on. First of all, if it's connected or if you have any protector on it or a case, go ahead and re remove the case. The reason that is just in case it's obstructing any of the ports or the power button. So go ahead and take that off. If you have any little USBs in the ports, go ahead and remove those USBs. Like if it's, you have like a mouse or something like that, remove that. And you can actually keyboard off. If you have an external keyboard, go ahead and remove that. Um, that will uh, kind of eliminate that as being the problem. Okay, so for the power adapter, go ahead and try charging the power adapter in another wall outlet. So go to a different room or a different location and then see if it'll power on. It's a it's a possibility there might be a short in that particular outlet in that room. So go ahead and try another outlet. Uh, second of all, with your power cord, you want, you want to make sure that this part, that the part on here is free from any debris. The, the input here, and make sure it doesn't have like any dust or anything like that. Maybe get like a Q-tip. Here is the thing that I want you to test. Go ahead and plug it in. It's plugged into the wall. Now if you notice, that little white light is not on. So what that's telling me is that it's not getting power, and most likely it's going to be the power adapter and not the motherboard. And we definitely don't want it to be the motherboard because then you just might as well get a new computer if it's not you know, past warranty. You can see here that the white light's not coming on. So this power brick might be bad or the power adapter might be bad. Next tip, especially for the newer tablets made in like 2019, 2021, what you will want to do is hold down the power button and then hold down the volume up button at the same time. So you can see that. And you want to hold that down for about 15 seconds and see if that will power it on while you have it plugged in to the power outlet. For older models, you can just hold down the power button. Now you can see here I'm getting that battery indicator. You see the little battery sign right here? That means it's not charging. The good thing about this is it means most likely the motherboard's still good and that there's just a power issue. If the motherboard was bad, that would probably mean it just wouldn't power on at all or the screen's bad. That's another bad thing you don't want. So now I'm pretty confident it's the power adapter. Here's the thing, it might not be the power brick that's broken. It might be this part here, which is the two-prong core that goes into the wall. And so what I want you to do is I want you to pull this out of your power brick. And you might have to put a little bit of force into it. And you can see that pops out. And it looks like a little figure eight. And this is the same kind of power adapter that's used for like Toshiba's, Dell's, everything. Either one of these may be bad. It might be the power brick or just might just be the AC part that goes into the wall. What I would do before buying a brick at Amazon or eBay is I would try to replace this part first because hopefully your brick is still good. So I have right here a power adapter. I got off of eBay, and as you can see there, it's a, it's a figure eight AC power adapter. You might have one of these laying around at home. You might have it try, if you have like a Toshiba or a Dell, try to pull it out of one of those power adapters and then stick it into your genuine power brick and see if that'll power it on. It might be able to fix your problem right now. If not, you can get these figure eights for little of nothing on eBay. You can get them for anywhere from three bucks to six bucks. The great thing about that is it'll save you from having to buy a power brick, which is like 30 or 40 bucks. Even the generic ones are expensive, whereas this is only like three to six bucks. So let's go ahead and try this and see if this fixed my problem. I'll put a link in the description that'll have a link to where you can buy these. But again, you can buy these figure eights anywhere. Or you might have one laying around at home. So now the test is when I plugged in this new figure eight power adapter that goes into the wall, Will my brick light white when I plug this into the wall? Let's see. Look there, it turned white. So that's a good sign. So let's go ahead and power it on and see if that fixed my problem. 
Ah, oh, it's starting to scroll. Looks like we got success, guys. All right, so instead of having to buy a brand new power adapter, I just had to replace that AC part. Now you can purchase these um, on Amazon or eBay. I'd recommend you to try to get a genuine OEM, and OEM means it's just made by Microsoft. And what this is a this particular one is for a Surface Pro Seven, and it's a uh, sixty watt. So this has got a model number of seventeen oh six on it. So you can go on eBay or on Amazon and go ahead and try to try to get the identical one. I do know that Amazon sells a lot of generic ones, and the kind of good thing about Amazon is you get it next day. There are usually good reviews on them, that, and they seem to be you know working pretty well. But make sure you get the same wattage. So there's some 40, I think there's some 40 watts. There might be some 80. This one's a 60, so you want to get the same wattage. Okay, so that would be one thing you could do. It looks like the only thing that was bad was this power adapter here and not the brick. So that's great news. I saved a lot of money. If your power brick light still lights up light and this screen won't power it on, it could be a couple of things. It could be the screen has gone bad or the motherboard inside has gone bad. If you can still hear it running and it gets hot, then most likely it's the screen and that would probably take an extensive repair. But if you don't hear anything and this still lights up, it's possible that the motherboard or the components inside is bad, which would cost a lot of money. But hopefully I saved you a lot of money with this video. Please let me know which method worked for you and please subscribe.